the biggest enemy we fight in astrophotography is light. How can we fight it? Let's have a look. This is View Into Space and I'm Sascha from Switzerland. Grüezi miteinander and thank you for watching my channel. Let's get right to it. I myself live in a suburb close to Basel, a rather large city here in Switzerland. So this is considered a border 5 area. Beside that, I have a lot of street lights running around my house and then there's my neighbor who has some nice motion activated lights who are bright as a football stadium and just blind me whenever a cat goes by. So what can we do? The first thing you need to know if you never heard about it is what Bordel actually means. It's a nine level scale measuring the night sky's brightness. It starts with one, which is an absolute dark sky and ends with nine, which is the absolute nightmare for any astrophotographer, which means it's completely bright, practically. And even if you already heard about it, it is actually a good idea to look it up in Wikipedia. It is quite interesting to see the exact descriptions of all the nine levels and what they really mean. So if you do not want to move, the first thing you can do is work with hardware. And I think here especially about filters, and that's what most people do who live in very light polluted areas. I myself use an Octolong L Pro filter when I shoot galaxies and an Antlia ALPT filter when I shoot nebulas. In addition to that, a dew shield also helps to actually protect you from stray light. So the hardware is one side. But what if you really want to escape the light pollution? That means you move away from it. And that's what I really want to talk about in this session here. To help you with that, there's the website lightpollutionmap.info and there's also the corresponding app. It really doesn't matter which one you use, the content is exactly the same. So let's dive into it. So here we are on the website. As you can see, the website is unfortunately ad infested. That's the advantage of the app where you don't have any ads, but you have to pay around $4 to buy the app. So the content as stated is the same. As you can see, I live in Switzerland, which is here. And looking at Europe, it looks quite horrific from a light pollution point of view. So all the red, all the yellow, that's just bad, 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 bad. In addition, like if we now zoom into Switzerland, as you can see, there is practically no way to escape the light pollution. There is only here in the Alps where we have the blue but comparing this now to the US going over here or Canada oh yeah here we have the blacks right if you're Nevada just go and enjoy the full darkness this is really portal one here so no light pollution at all I would dream of that but jump over the ocean again. Unfortunately, I'm here. And so this is what I'm doing here is much more actually important for us living in light polluted areas than for people living in Nevada. For them, it's a no brainer. Let's go a little bit outside the house, drive half an hour and they're in full darkness. But what I, what should I do? I live here close to Basel. And by the way, you see these artifacts that's a little bit something annoying of this website. So as you can see here in Basel, we have a Bordel class six. This is very typical for a city. And where I live, we're in a red zone. So we have a class five. So what I have to do is to zoom out, look around and see where the best areas are to drive to. So the closest point to go is probably here in the Black Forest. It's still only green, which means a class four, but at least it's much better than where I am. Or I can drive a little bit further into the French part 
and here I get into a class 3. But it's already quite a drive. And if I want to go to the best place where I can here in Switzerland, I go up to the Alps. And here I get to a class 3, and that's as good as it gets. You don't get to a class 2. Now let me show you something else. When you see here the overlay that we have, you see here the World Atlas 2015. And when you push this pull down, you see that you have here many of these VIIRS. And this goes up to 2021, so very recent. So I'm curious. Let's go here. Oh, this looks so much better. Suddenly I have here all these black areas, even very close to my home. You see, I can go here or here and I have total black areas, no light pollution at all. This is so great. I think I use this map. This is also much more up to date, right? Not really. VIIRS stands for Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite. So what is this? It actually depicts the infrared emissions from the ground. So it tells you how much light is emitted from a place but it does not tell you how bright the sky is. And this is actually what light pollution means. So is this meaningless? No, it's not. It's an additional information which can be quite useful. So let me go back to the World Atlas. And this chart, by the way, shows how bright the Senate is. So the actual light pollution. So let's as before decide that we go somewhere in the Black Forest. So let's see. Well, I could go here. Now let me go back to the VIIRS. And what I see now is that even this is a Bordel 4 area, I probably do not want to go to Schluchsee. So because there I have a lot of city and street lights beside me. So I want to go a little bit away from all the lights. Let's say here to Grünwald. So here in Grünwald I get the best of both. On one side, I have reduced light pollution, and on the other side, I have no direct city lights around me. So this is how these two maps play together. Okay, that was it already. I hope it was interesting to you. Please leave a note below and tell me how you protect yourself from light pollution. Do you know any other great website, any other tools, any other hardware? I'm curious. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. See you next time in clear skies.